I'm being called a wolf. You should try it sometime, Daddy. I think you really are as dumb as you look. Right. So. I'm sure that Amato never suspected a thing. Now go on and enjoy yourself. Uh. Thanks for coming, Stanley. Jeez. Oh, sure, nothing um, to worry about. Me and Andy got it all rats. fixed up again last Were night. Good rats tough enough? I was Ooh, I like that. Okay, so this is really chattery and lots of talking. Uh, so I probably won't do a lot of talking over the top of it because then you won't get to hear it. Um, ideally, we'll be able to get through this and get to the next segment where there's actually some combat. Um, and then we can get out of the vaults and go into the wasteland. Uh, this is part two of my Fallout 3 video. So you can get a look. Check it out. Play it, because it's amazing. Play the DLC. It is amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I say amazing a lot. Apologize. Maybe I should say I'm awesome. Or I'm awesome. Anyways. Here we go. Enjoying yourself? Happy birthday, Sonny. You need a good name. Oh, Here's really? One. They're Wally lovely. The big cheese. You did such a... I hope you appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. Uh, of course she likes me. I'm a really charming guy. Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. Splendid job. Right. Dick. Nice, nice try. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Uh, yep. Yes, ma'am. Such a nice, polite young man you are. Don't ever lose your gift to speaking your mind so directly. We could use more of that down here. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. You're the birthday boy. No sharing required today. Shouldn't it be the big cheese and Wally? Why do you always have to right go in there? I'm glad you can make it. Nice I'm party, butthead. Now get lost. Keep hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Touch I have with to the young you people, cry. you know. As part of my job, plus, well... This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons, party hats... Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? I do remember that. All right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. Yeah, probably smelled like crap. Sure thing. Who are you? Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. Uh, I know that, uh, Butch uh, and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Uh, anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. Mr. Gomez, what are you uh, well, nice hey, hey, I can take that coffee mug. Something. Let's talk to this guy. How do you like that Pip Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Thanks, Stanley. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. Yeah, Paul. Ooh, I got a baseball hat. Let's put that baseball hat on. Right away! Oh, yeah. New best friend. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. Man, that is so sugary sweet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not a girl. I'm not of five. Stop not calling five. me dearie. <laughs> you're a big ten-year-old man now, aren't you? With your very own pit boy. Jesus. And you know what I did? Just for the occasion, wrote you a poem. I hope you like it. Well, that's pretty cool. I do like poetry, so, uh... Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. 
You mean dork face here? Happy birthday. I feel like I wouldn't be doing you guys uh, any kind of service if I didn't have a look at this uh, oh, data. Here we go. Didn't have a look at this poem. Ooh, here we go. Gray walls, impenetrable steel, suffocation, condemnation, little hands groping in subterranean uncertainty. Mommy? Daddy? Am I dead? Nay, nay, reborn into purifying fluorescence. A face emerges strong and male. Father to me, father to all. Overseeing our lives, our eternities. Harshness of discipline, harshness of love, obedience, my savior. Larva to pupa, pupa to worker. Buzz, buzz, one with the steel honeycomb. Ten lies within the 101, significant at last. Till gray seeps from walls to hair to soul. Then eternal slumber, the sweet sleep of incineration. <laughs> Just want to say that's pretty messed up to give to a kid on his tenth birthday. Go on, Jonas is waiting for you downstairs. Like seriously, who writes a poem like that for someone's tenth birthday? I told you the vaults were messed up. Everyone in here is crazy. What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. Uh... <laughs> you sure are. Pip-boy and everything. Look oh, yeah. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Did he follow me down here? Doom, 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 doom. I want to go to somewhere cool. Do, 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 Are do. you ready for your surprise? Yes! The overseer gave you your pit boy, and you're old enough to do some work. So, I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Yaw. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch must place that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? He didn't misplace it. You stole it! You're a thief, Daddy. You're a thief! We sure can't, unless we want the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Ooh, you found a place for me to... Shoot a firearm near the nuclear reactor. That is amazing. I am impressed. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. This is Couldn't so great. Done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. I totally will thank him. Let's go thank him now. Since he's right here. Happy birthday, buddy. I hope you have fun with it. Thanks a lot, Jonas. Hey, this you is don't really cool. Ten every day. Now go on and let me see you shoot something. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot something. What? Yeah. Shoots. Ping. Careful, it's a rad roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just aim and shoot. You'll be fine. Ooh, it's VATS. Yes. Welcome to Vault Assisted a uh, Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System or VATS. VAT displays the chance you will hit along with the condition of each body part. Mouse one attack your ta target. Mouse two cancel attack. E accept your actions. Left click on the left or right arrows to switch to a new target. The number of attacks you can make is limited by your action points, which is limited by your agility. So the higher agility, the more action points you get, etc., etc. And when they're like humans and stuff, you can aim for their crotch. Obviously, headshots do more damage. And we have enough agility to shoot him twice. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, and he died on that first one. And I got an XP. Yeah, suck that. Good work. That's one less round roach to deal with. It is. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Smile. No, I want to have my gun out. Uh. Boys and girls have different parts. 
Boys and girls have different parts. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. <laughs> go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. Yes! I'm going to take a GOAT, and I'm going to turn it into a curry. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. Yep. You're 16 now, so this year you take the GOAT. Right. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. I will try. You know what the overseer says? We're born in the vault, we die in the vault. <laughs> yeah, but Each I'm not going to. tested to determine their abilities, that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? Uh, yeah, I suppose. Was, uh, do we have to die in the vault? Can't we ever leave? That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Especially not around the overseer. I want right. to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have. Because what's up there, on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Is it true, Dad? Was everyone born in the vault? That's what the overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe. And you're safe here. I totes am, but I want to shoot people. Can we talk about, you know, mom? Your mother, she... She was beautiful. But beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate. About life. About love. But most of all... Most of all, she was passionate about you. There should be when semicolons. She pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, oh, she had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, son, please, take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. Right. Um, bye. Take care, son. Now get out of here. And good luck. Oh, there's a new quest. Check this out. I have one of these. He's cool. Look, he's cool. Look at him. I'm gonna pick him up. What up? You found a vault limited edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, The smart man knows a bandage only hides his wounds. Your medicine skill has been permanently increased by 10 points. Uh, there's a bunch of them all spread throughout the game. If you find them all... Uh, you obviously get really awesome bonuses to your stats. Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Hey, good luck with the goat, buddy. Yep, I'm gonna go take the goat. Who are you? I'm a little worried. <laughs> morning, Jonas. <clears throat> I hope Jonas can take a morning, look at me soon. How's things? Uh, you're probably gonna die, dude. Sorry. I don't think there's any reason to go through all this stuff, because I think we might jump ahead. Oh, yeah. Let's go help her. show you a real... Stupid tunnel snakes. Immature assholes, if you ask me. Yep. Why won't they leave me alone? It's not my fault my father's the overseer. I don't care about their stupid gang. Yep. Can you talk to them? Maybe Butch will listen to you. Please? Uh, I'll see if I can talk some sense into them. Thanks. You've always been a good friend. Try talking to Butch. They'll all do whatever he says. Right. Dad? Yeah? What do you want? Uh, looks like you're having fun. Damn right. And you'll stay out of our way if you know what's good for you. No one messes with the tunnel snakes. 
Especially not this stuck-up little daddy's girl. Speech 64%. See, so it's telling me how likely I am. If you keep messing with her, the overseer is going to come down on your gang. Maybe you're right. We can deal with her later. These girls. Come on, daddy's come snakes. Girl. This little bitch isn't worth our time. Whatever you say, Butch. You're the boss. Tunnel snakes rule. Fine. Let's go. <laughs> Tunnel snakes are terrible. Thanks for getting rid of them. <laughs> Assholes. Yep. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father's the overseer, I guess? Idiots. Right. Time to go to the goat. It's goat time. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me. It really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Uh, sure, I'm ready. I bet I'll ace it. I'm sure you will. Especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. That's the worst kind of test with no wrong answers? Because then what are they doing the test for? Why do you have to take a test? Uh, I get the front seat, I suppose. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. There's the flag. No talking. And keep your eyes to yourselves. Chemistry set? <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. I can't turn around. Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Ha. Huh. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. Um, your approach, yeah. Um, but doctor, wouldn't that cause a parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity? It's because I have really high intelligence. Yeah, up yours too, buddy. Say nothing but grab a nearby pipe and hit the scientist in the head to knock him out. For all you knew, he was planning on blowing up the vault. Say nothing but slip away before the scientist continue his rant. So obviously the uh, the questions are designed to find out what kind of skills you're going to have. I'm going to go ahead and save the, say this. Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Huh. Uh, that's pretty messed up. Restrain the patient and merely observe as the infection spreads. Uh, medicate the infected area to the best of your abilities. Scream for help. Amputate the foot. We're going to go ahead and restrain the patient and merely observe, because that's, that's weird. Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Uh, give the boy a hug and tell him everything will be okay. Confiscate the stolen property by force and leave the boy there as punishment. Pick the boy's pocket to take stolen property for yourself and leave him to his fate. Um, well, I don't feel like I would turn him into the overseer. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of leaving the boy there as punishment. Um, now nah, we'll give him a hug. Question Poor four. little kid. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? <laughs> yeah. Terrible. Uh, I wish the Vault had a soccer team. Question five. Nerd. Your grandmother invites you to tea. But you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another Vault resident. What do you do? Uh, <laughs> obey your elder and kill the resident with the pistol? <laughs> Throw your tea in Granny's face. Uh, I like the idea of asking for a minigun instead. Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Uh, trade a vault hoodlum for his cherry bomb. Go to the armory, retrieve a laser pistol, and shoot the lock off. Walk away and let the old coot rot. Um... Yeah, we'll trade for uh, a cherry bomb. Ew. Oh no. You've been exposed to radiation and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Uh, bullet to the brain, anti-mutagen, prayer, maybe God will spare me in exchange for a life of pious devotion. Um, removal of the mutated tissue with a precision laser. Question 8. 
A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Um. Yeah, slip some knockout drops into the resident's Nuka Cola and take the comic book when he's unconscious. Question nine. Yes. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and. Loosen the bolts, put a firecracker, break into the locked medicine cabinet, and replace his high blood pressure medication with sugar pills. That's messed up. <laughs> Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. <laughs> yep. Yep. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well... There are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Right. Um, yep. Where did he go? I've got other things to do. Yeah, I'm sure yes. you do. Oh, there he is. Hey. Here you are, Mr. Brach. I hope I did okay. Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Almodovar. Let's see. Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track for you. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Get out of my face. All finished? Yeah, I am. Well, well. Pip-boy programmer, eh? Stanley will finally have someone to talk shop with. <laughs> closer to reality than you might think. Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously, and look where I ended up. Just between you and me. The whole test is a joke. Obviously. If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. <laughs> so you say, yeah, if I... Basically what he's saying is like, if you want to change what you've done, because it's, you know, what skills you have selected. Probably don't want to do unarmed. Not a big fan of unarmed, to be honest. Um, it's generally a good idea to tag at least one weapon skill. Otherwise, you'll end up screwed. Uh, yeah, energy weapons can be fun. Uh, you're not likely to run into one very early. Um... We'll just pick small guns. That's like normal, regular guns. Yo, teach. I'm done. Ah, Butch. Can I admit that I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time? Bye. Is he going to say what Butch got? You did fine. You should celebrate with your friends. Ah, uh, he's not going to say. I've got other things to do. And these people are just chi oh, chilling. Hi. Uh, why are you talking We're to me? We're friends. <laughs> We're never going to be friends. Got it? There's like 10 people in the vault. You're dumb. <laughs> Look, Square, I already told you. We got nothing to say to each other. Right. Hey, what did you put for number 10? <laughs> Overseer question. Uh, people are dumb. That's pretty funny. Right. Even an Wake up! Come you on, need to wake know up! These things. I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on! You've got to wake up! You've got to get out of here! Your dad is gone, and my father's men are looking for you! Uh. Good for dad. About time someone stood up to the overseer. No offense. You don't understand! Your dad somehow opened the main door and left the vault. Nice. My father, I've never seen him so angry. Listen to me. If the guards find you, they'll kill you. Okay. Um. It's Jonas. They killed him. My father's men. They took him and... 
Oh my god, you have to leave now! Okay. Yeah, it's lucky I got here ahead of them, but we can't stand here talking. You've got to get out of here. You're right, I can't stay here, but where could I go? I need to escape the vault, and you're gonna help me. Even if all that's true, how did you get here first? Yep. Oh, so you don't trust me now? Thanks a lot. You think it was easy for me to get here with the rad roaches and security all over the place? Oh, lights out, rad roaches. Maybe you'd tell, better tell me more about what's going on. Your sense of self-preservation never fails to rise to the surface. Jeez, you're Lucky pretty for you, nasty. I have a plan. I can help you follow your dad and escape from the vault. Okay. Escape Listen, the vault how? There's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Sounds like a good plan. Let's get out of here. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Thanks, Amada. I'll only use it as a last resort. Okay. I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck. I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. Right, so we're gonna go ahead into our inventory. Weapons, 10 millimeter pistol. And pull that bad boy out. Let's shoot him in his police baton. That's pretty funny. Yep, now we can have his clothes. And we can put that on. That way we are, uh... Dressed and fresh. Um, holding the number keys will allow you to set quick, quick slots. So, press two. I got a police baton. Press one. I got a gun. And ammo is limited, so we want to make sure we can serve that. Uh, you auto run. That's always nice. Um. You gotta help me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches! Right. Come on, let's see if we can help her. Butch asking me for help. If only you knew what irony was. Sure. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry for the way I've always treated you. You know I never meant any of it, right? Oh, God, you're such but a dick. But it's my mom. You can't leave her in there with the rat roaches. All right, I'll help, but I'm doing this for your mom, not for you. Sure, I, I don't care why. Just get her out of there. <laughs> You're the best friend I've ever had, man. Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snakes jacket. Go ahead, take it. Thanks, man. You're my bestest friendest. So it's got a DR of 4 and melee weapons plus 5. This is DR of 9. Yeah, I mean, I don't really need your jacket, dude. I kind of just saved your mom because I guess, I don't know. I felt bad. Not sure why I'm uh, going through here. This all seems backwards. Where are we trying to get to? And you can see on the little HUD down at the bottom left that there's some things. Ah, poor Grandma Taylor.
Yeah, so we need to leave, I guess. Yep, yep, yep. I just want to talk to you for a oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. Right. Thanks, Officer Gomez. I always liked you. It's a real shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. I will, dude. Peace out. Ha. Uh. That's enough excitement for one. Those nasty roaches have gotten my sockets in such a frazzle. You're the one everybody's looking for. Me and Andy were in a tight spot there, ain't no mistake. Good thing he loves toasting roaches. Oh, sometimes you can hack those things. Um, if I had a key, I guess I would have had to pickpocket it or something. Just hold still. Your left stabilizer's been knocked loose. Right. It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doc. We're getting out of here. Now's our chance. Right, so we need a gun here, and we're gonna go bang! Yeah, Officer Richards. Right in your face! In your face! So we want all that. You can also use the, um, you can use similar items to repair other items, so it's always good to take that stuff, because your stuff doesn't work as well sometimes. So we're wearing that, you can see the condition's a bit low. So we're gonna go ahead and repair it using, no, no, the other, the other items are in better condition, so we'll put those on. And then we'll repair those. Oh, no. Oh, we don't have the skill. That totally makes sense. We'll switch to that one. Right. Um, okay, so that's the wrong way. I guess we need to go up. The game does pause when you're looting, so you can loot. Oh, we don't want to use all of our weapons on these guys. I don't know how these guys are getting all killed by rad roaches. It seems pretty dumb. Yeah. Like, you'll run into rad roaches through the rest of the game as well. Um, they're all pretty much this easy to kill as well. I mean, like, look, they're giant cockroaches. Who cares? Yep. I kind of just want to get outside so I can show you guys what it looks like. Oh, shut up. Nobody cares about you, dude. You're dumb. Gotcha now. Oh, well, we're going to use a gun then. I mean, if you're going to have a bat, I'm going to have a gun, because that seems fair. Yes, some slow-mo dead. When you start criticaling and stuff, they start exploding, and that's, uh, that's much better. But requires sort of higher stuff. There's lots of people dead. I mean, lots. We'll have that. 
you can use that for constructing weapons and stuff, um, which is always pretty cool. Uh, did he have anything worth it? Nah, he didn't. We've already got enough of that. Stop in the name of the overseer. Um, that was close. We don't want to kill our dad. We're just running. Oh! Because if you kill her dad, she gets really angry, amazingly enough. Ah! Yeah, I don't want to kill you. I know that she gets really, really upset if you kill her. Right. Yep, this is... The lock picking thing. I'm pretty sure it pauses as well, so. Oh. La 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 la. Oh yeah. Right, so this is like a little mini game. It's uh you just guess the guess the password and it tells you how many letters you got right. And it's off of a list. Um if you don't get it right, you can exit out and then come back in and try it. If you get it wrong a certain number of times in a row, you fail. And it's locked, but... And, like, it's paused right now, so I'm kind of abusing the system here. Let's call it leave. So I got one out of five. So we know that level's not correct, because that has more than one thing right. Um... No, it's not lucky. It's, uh, loved. Oops. Well, that was dumb. Oh. And he's going to keep hitting me, I guess. Okay, sorry, we're back. We need to talk to the overseer. I hope you're here to turn yourself in, young man. You're already in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. Um. Just give me the keys to your office and your password, then I'll be going. Oh, is that all? Is there anything else I can get you while you're here? You'll get nothing from me. I'll die before I see the safety of the vault compromised again. I'll escape without your help, then. I'm not the one who started killing people. Save your sanctimony. The world is a dangerous place, and I make no apologies for doing whatever it takes to keep the vault safe. Guards, help me! Yeah, there's no guards, dude. Um, but we do need to... Oh. What's here? Nope. Guards. Yeah, there's no guards, dude. I mean, I could kill you, but it's sort of pointless at this point. Pick up some note from Dad. Awesome. Should we see what the note from Dad? Hold on, Jonas. I need to record this first. I... I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, 
But at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay, go ahead. Goodbye. I love you. Right. Thank you. I told you my father wasn't himself. I don't know what he might have done if you hadn't come along. Probably hurt you, you pretty bad. Get out of here. I'll try to meet you at the vault door. If I don't make it, good luck. Pretty sure the last time I played this, I uh, I killed her dad, and she was not happy about that. Even though he's kind of a dick. So we're gonna try this again. Uh, this time I'm not gonna fail so hard at this. See, it's random. It's kind of so we'll try, we'll try noise. All right, one out of five isn't super useful. We'll try lover. Two out of five. Um. Yeah, there's only oh, that's two. We need something that's two out of five. Uh, loves, that's too many. The O, no. The ER, sure. No. All right, so we'll turn it off and we'll come back in. Try it again. Let's try faith. Oh, none. That's helpful. Zero is a useful one. Because it means it can't be any of those. Moved. Yep, moved has zero. Right, so it's not that. Uh, creed. Creed. Yay, we did it. Cruel. Yep. We enter some stuff. We can view security dossiers. Dossiers, sorry. If butchers and leather-clad delinquents accost Amada one more time, they'll have more to deal with than their acerbic teacher. Their services have come in handy upon occasion, I must admit, but they're starting to become unruly. If dogs become feral, they must be put down. I'll have to remind Butch of that upon our next meeting. Beatrice. Just what Vault 101 needs, an absent-minded, sexually repressed sycophant. Beatrice has served Vault 101 admirably for years, but her mind has grown feeble. I'll have to speak with our good doctor about some kind of long-term pharmaceutical solution. We may at least be able to keep her comfortable and quiet until she passes on. So, I guess they're going to kill her, but quietly. Never should have assigned Jonas as James' assistant. He was always too idealistic for his own good. Now he spends every waking minute with the good doctor who cleavely fills his ears with even more idealistic nonsense. I've considered reassigning him, but the truth is Jonas is a fine medic in his own right, and hiding him down in the maintenance would be a terrible waste of resources. Amada. Every time I try to get Amada to open up, she just pushes me further and further away. Since she was a child, I've tried to instill in her those virtues that have made this fault what it is today. Loyalty, honesty, and commitment. Hard work. She does try, and with a lot of guidance, has grown into a fine young woman. That makes it all the sadder that she continues to alienate me. She looks at me and sees the overseer not for the father that has cared for her alone. Alone, since she was an infant. Right. View scouting reports. As our test suggested, the immediate vicinity of the vault is no longer dangerously irradiated, obviously. Although the background radiation is still well above safe levels, pockets of more intense radiation appear to still be common, and all surface water seems to be undrinkable. We will need to carry ample supplies of radax with us uh, on all f future surveys, but hazard suits do not seem to be necessary. Right, so they've been sending people out anyway. We encountered a group of monstrous ants which appeared to confirm to McKay's theories of mutation due to extended exposure to ra radiation. We drove off the ants with gunfire and collected several specimens for study upon return to the vault. See Exhibit A. The good news is that the human civilization still survives, despite everything. We discovered a settlement known as Megaton, whose inhabitants, although somewhat wary at first, soon welcomed us into their town. We spent a good deal of time in Megaton and learned a great deal, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Alright, Exhibit A, I guess will be a picture of an ant. Yep. Exhibit B is a picture of the gates of Megaton. Cool. Vault Tech Instructions. Right, this is the... Congratulations, you are now a vital part of the most ambitious program ever undertaken by Vault Tech. Okay, your Vault may or may not have been selected to receive a GEC module. Please see Attachment A for details. Attachment A. Vault 101 will not receive a GEC module and should operate under the guidelines laid forth in the overseas serial orders. 
So the Gek is the Garden of Eden, Garden of Eden creation kit. It's what you go to find in Fallout 2. Um, and then you find out basically that the vault tech was using these vaults as a way to experiment on people. One of the ways was to give them a Gek and not give them a Gek. And let's go ahead and open up the Overseer's Tunnel. Cool. Here we go. I mean, is there even a point in those things existing? Here we go. didn't believe it was possible when I say I'm going to do something I do it <laughs> you're right I should have never doubted you why don't you come with me it's tempting but my place is here the vault needs me more than you do I'm the only one who has a chance to talk some sense into my father listen if you do catch up with your dad tell him I'm sorry for for you know Jonas and, and my father and everything Goodbye. Right. So I'm going to kill these guys. <laughs> yes. And that's why this game is awesome. You're not going to come? He's afraid. Okay. Well, I'm not going to chase you down if you're too chicken to come after me. I'm perfectly happy for you to stay back there, dude. No problems. Yep, and they just shut it straight back away. Bye, Vault 101. Nope, we're happy. Look at that. Huh. <laughs> Scenic overlook. So we're going to level up here. So the different perks go at like 50, 75, stuff like that, so it's usually a good idea to, you know, level them up like that. Um, actually, I don't want science up that high right now. Let's put our speech up, because then we can convince people to do stuff, that's what speech does. Um, we need four points to get to 50. Continue. So these are perks, uh, you get them every other level, I think. Uh, intense training isn't really worth it. It's kind of a waste of your perks. A lot, I mean, you can do it later on, but the perks can be so cool. Um, Lady Killer is a cool one. It gives you unique dialogue options, so you can be like, oh, hey, babes, what's up? Uh, Little League, yeah, can hit hard. Swift Learner. You get an additional 10% experience. So there is a, a, there is a level cap. So, and you'll hit it easily, especially if you play the DLC, so I wouldn't recommend anything that increases your experience. It's just uh, not... Uh, I, I like to go for Lady Killer. 10% damage against uh, women, and uh, like, so you literally kill them, and you know, you get, you can talk to them and stuff. So anyways, this is uh, the Wasteland. This is what the game looks like, basically. Um, I mean, there are some city places and stuff, but essentially, this is the game. This is what it is. 
You fight things, you do quests, you saw the questing and stuff. This is the open world start of it. You, you walk around, um, scavenge and stuff. I, I mean, Fallout 4 looks awesome as well, but yeah, this is basically the game. So, uh, if you enjoy Fallout 3, pick it up, buy it. Um, if you want to know some tips and tricks and stuff, I'm happy to help out. Ask in the comments. Um, and if you want to see me play something else, go ahead and ask. Uh, or if you want to see more Fallout 3, I, you know, it's a really good game, so I'll play it some more. Anyways, uh, that's it for this character, Mr. Jacobs, and uh, class dismissed. See ya!